All Leeds TV and this is a quick little review of pre-season so far for Leeds. So we've beaten Forest Green 2-1 on Tuesday night, we drew 1-1 with York tonight and this is a quick little review of both games, what we've sort of learnt, what the signs are of pre-season and any potential areas where we need to strengthen etc etc and it's just a general review really. So we'll start with the Forest Green, the good. So it was two totally different games, two totally different performances and two totally different teams. So Start with Forest Green, 2-1. Could quite easily have been more. Um, I thought we were excellent on Tuesday night. You know, we can't obviously go too far, get too excited, but we were very, very good on Tuesday night. We saw an identity start to form, players taking on board all of Bielsa's ideas. And we went with a strong team, really, and we played the full 90, which was encouraging. Did the same, actually, on, on Thursday as well. And the, the fitness levels looked good, too. You know, we were pressing, you know... We were committed to our ideas and it was very encouraging to watch. Um, and, you know, we look at individual performances, I thought Forshaw and Phillips in the middle were very impressive, controlled the game, lovely use of the ball, saw plenty of the ball, pressed well, knew when to drop back. Phillips was disciplined, very disciplined on Tuesday and Forshaw was able to push forward. Um, and then Luke Aylin was exceptional as well, looks ready made for that right hand side and if we are playing 3 3 one three, he's got to be on that right hand side, the right of the second three for me in the midfield and pushing forward and having that free licence, that's where I see him. Potentially he could play in the back three but I think he's just so good going forward and so composed going forward that he has to be playing in the more attacking role on this Bielsa side. Obviously in the second half of the Forest Green game we dropped off a little bit but I think that was more through tiredness than anything, and you know the yeah, I think it was probably more fitness related than anything on that. Um, and yeah, you know, I thought all in all it was positive what we saw on uh, Tuesday night. Tonight, less so. You know, I think it's only really Matthews Cleek who comes out of tonight of any credit. Uh, he was superb. I thought tonight. He played, started in the back three, looked composed. Couple of little things, you know, giving some cheap fouls away, but other than that, for a first game at centre back, first 45 minutes, I thought Cleek had an, ex an excellent game. He then pushed up a little bit further forward into a holding midfield role, and he was even better. You know, we started to get a lot more control, he drops into that position. He's just, I'm a real big fan of Cleek, to be honest with you. You know, I thought last season I was gutted when he was taking out the team, um, well, not given a chance really under Thomas Christensen and obviously you know that's been and gone now but you know hopefully it's an experience that Cleek has recovered from because he had a great time in, in Holland the second half of last season and it's just frustrating really you know he'd never really got a chance last season so hopefully this season is the season for him and we've got some good comp competition in that midfield now between Phillips, Forshaw and Cleek in the holding role and obviously you've got Lewis Baker to take into consideration Ronaldo Vieira although I do think Vieira is going to play in the back three, to be honest with you, from a personal point of view, I see Ronaldo Vieira playing in that back three, you know, alongside two centre backs, two out and out centre backs, Pontus and someone else. I see him there. So, yeah, that's it's going to be interesting. That, but as I say, in the midfield, I think we've got plenty of quality now, and we don't need to be making, be making any investment in that area. That's just a personal view. I think for sure, Phillips and Cleek, Baker, etc., etc. We've got the quality there. In terms of the performance against York, the first half was pedestrian and the worrying thing was these players are the ones who think they've got to go that extra mile really and there wasn't really, I mean Jay, um, Shackleton in the second half was much better I thought, he, you know, he started to look promising, Tom Pearce did well but other than that I just thought, and, and Lawrence the Box to be fair did okay but you're looking at the main players, there wasn't really anything there, you know, um, Igaducci got his first chance, just didn't really take it. And uh, But yeah, it's clear that we're a work in progress and if we don't make significant investment into the 9th of August when the transfer deadline days arrives, it's going to be clearly a season of another transition season and that's not obviously what you want to hear. But I think we're going to enjoy the season. You know, I think um, the way the players took to the ideas against Forest Green was promising. You know, For a first friendly, that was good. You get you bring Cleek, Pierce, all the promising the two, three promising players from today, and you put them into that team, and it looks good. You know, you've got Pontus to come back and potentially new signings. So 
that looks good from that point of view, but there's still clearly weaknesses in this team. Do we lack that firepower? Absolutely. I think Tuesday night showed that with a glaring. The amount of chances we've created is we only scored two goals. You're not going to create those chances against other teams. You know, you have more organisation. It was a League 2, no disrespect at all to Forest Green, by the way, but, you know, it's a League 2 team. Against Championship teams, Stoke on the first day of the season, it's going to be a totally different game. You're not going to be able to create that many chances, no matter what kind of creativity you have. So I think we need that bit more firepower. Roof is a great second option as a striker, but I think if we really, really want to progress, we need another option up front, a more out and out number nine with experience at this level or experience at similar levels and you know a proven track record. Abel Hernandez would be perfect. Unfortunately, that one's not going to go through. Matej Vidra, yeah, that'd probably be a good one as well. We'll go through a video as well on that, you know, on striker signs and that loss, and uh, you know, watch out for that in the next couple of days. Um, and then at the back, that's another clear area where we need to strengthen. I think we're just giving a little bit too much space away. I'm a fan of the back three, I've got to be honest with you. I'm a fan of that, and I don't mind midfielder playing in the back three, but I think, you know, Cleek, Vieira looked okay in that role. Berardi the other night, when he obviously a full back, he went to centre back, he looked solid enough and has done when he's played centre back. But we need two out and out centre backs. We've got Pontus, but we need one more, one more quality centre back. Daniel Ayala is the man for that role for me. You know, he's Aidan Flint just arrived at Borough, and we've got Ben Gibson there. He's not going to start games Daniel Ayala next season. That has to, you know, something like that has to happen. James Chester at Villa, Villa cash strapped. Let's make a bid there. You know, the the there's plenty to be positive about. But we're still clear that we need to make two or three quality signings. If we do make those two or three quality signings, there's a lot of potential in this team, and that's what you know. That's what we've got to be positive about. But we've got to seize the opportunity now. You know, we don't want to be losing players as well. You know, Luke Aylin the other night. If a Premier League club's watching him there, you're making the bid. You know, any team outside that top ten is going to be looking at Luke Aylin, honestly. And then Pontus, you know, he had a good World Cup. You know, he played. Um, Got a few minutes, and you know, Pontus is Pontus. You know, he's going to attract interest. Ronaldo Vieira is attracting interest from Cardiff. You've got to keep the players in, and add players. That's you know, as simple as that. You know, defender, defender, quality winger, striker, and I think we're good to go. But we've got to get those players in.